let's talk about probably your most favorite topic. And I want to limit you on time already, by the way. This is a 30-minute webinar that we're going to yeah. be doing here. Don't talk for like a billion hours on this. But I wanted to open up. Talk about your, your, like, your most favorite or most influential downtown projects that are going on right now. Not the ones that we're thinking about that or whatever, but like the money has been allocated, things are actually moving and, and what those are gonna do to the face of downtown. Yeah, so I, you know, downtown Jacksonville is, is a, it's a large area and there's been a lot of stuff happening in, in Brooklyn, which is an area downtown and some projects in La Villa, which is an area downtown and now La Jaya down by the Stadium, which would be huge. Um, I really think that the actual the North Bank core where all the high rises are, you already have a lot of density is extremely important. And we, the, um, the Barnett building, which was a building, I think it was built in 1926, just went through a, a $50 million renovation. There's, there's you know, eight floors of, of retail and, and office and 10 floors of residential. There's people living in there now. That project's almost 100% completed. Um, and so you know, those sort of redevelopment projects that are happening in the heart of downtown, you know, kind of in between Hemming Park and the landing, um, are are really i think the ones that, that i get most excited about well the barnett one and correct me if i'm wrong here but that one wasn't just important just because of how it looks right or how it improves the physical appearance of downtown it was like wow downtown's real right the the business community basically looked at that and they were like oh man we could get this incentive package to work right yeah. we could get this thing going and it's it's almost like a just a a signal that this has gone from the hype which Jacksonville has experienced in the past, right? We've had the hype of downtown. We, that's when we started, there was yeah. a lot of hype. Now it's real. And I think it, I think that's, you know, equally as important, right? Absolutely. Very cool. All right. Wow. You were really good about not talking a lot there. All right. Um, <laughs> you told I me to shut that, up, right? You told me to shut up. Well, the people, I'm sure, you know, they would like to, to, <laughs> you know, ask and, and, you know, get some more knowledge from you. Um, so uh, we'll open it up for some questions here in just a little bit. Kate, how are we doing on time? Good. All right, cool. And uh, so talk to me about your vision for Jacksonville downtown, maybe what the effect this has for investors and in rental properties like us. Um, talk to me about the next three to five years um, and try to try to be tangible. Like what, what are we going to see downtown that we don't see right now? Um, so, you know, we're, we're actively investing in areas around downtown. So, you know, like I said, the Barnett is in the, the North Bank core. Um, we are going to see some, some incentive um, packages that are specifically slated for the North Bank Corps. Um, you know, JWB is starting to, to invest in some of those areas as well. We've got some, I know Greg posted a video of us walking through an abandoned building. You guys love crazy, <laughs> ridiculous, like creepy buildings. Yeah, I can tell you that. That was, uh, that, was, uh, that was fun. And so I'm excited to be a part of it to, to really continue to push that momentum. Um, and I, I think that's what you'll see. I mean, I, I know that we have uh, a significant number of developers that, that we're working with, that we're pushing to start investing in the core. And I think in the next three to five years, you'll, you'll see another you know, $500 million of projects get done in the core, um, which would be totally transformative. And what that does is increases you know, rental rates and demand in the core, and that spills out into every other neighborhood yeah, around. Yeah, put some numbers to it. We've achieved 4%, that's actually 4.32% yeah. appreciation on average each year over the last 27 years with a downtown that has not realized its potential. Yeah. With a downtown that is realizing its potential, you would think that it would only, only increase. go up. 